Congestive heart failure is a condition where the left ventricle uh, of the heart, left side of the heart, fails for a variety of different reasons. If it's ascertained that there is no uh, routine uh, medical or surgical treatment that's going to uh, alleviate the congestive heart failure, then they're considered uh, a potentially a candidate for a transplant. Along the way, we're also evaluating whether they are a candidate for a ventricular cyst device because sometimes, and many times, a ventricular cyst device might be required in order to get them all the way through to a transplant, uh, or a uh, ventricular cyst device might be a permanent alternative to a transplant if someone was not a candidate for the transplant. Terry's case, I think, highlights the uh, integrated service that we provide, uh, both as a heart failure program, a heart transplant program, and, a, and uh, along with the surgeons attached to the program. When the program decided that he was not a candidate for a transplant at this point in time, he had several options, one of which would have been to continue on with medical therapy and uh, go home with an uh, intravenous pump that would provide him with cardiac stimulants called inotropes. He'd already had bypass surgery in the past, so we knew that redoing bypass surgery in his instance would not be a viable alternative. We uh, then also had two different options for ventricular cyst devices. At the time, there was uh, an FDA-approved option, which is this large pump here, where the tip of this pump is what's connected up to the heart to suck the blood out of the heart. The pump then pumps it back to the aorta through this graft. And, and basically, the bulk of this pump sits below the diaphragm in the abdominal cavity right in front of the stomach. But we were uh, one of the trial centers for a different uh, pump, which is this pump, um, much smaller, you can see, and it, and it pumps blood without pulsing the blood. And most of these patients uh, with these kind of pumps actually walk around and they have no detectable pulse, but they're leading completely normal lives. The family is an integral part of the patient's health care plan. Um, they, they are you know, the patients that do the best are those that have the most involved families that have a lot of support. So Terry's wife was, you know, an integral part of the decision making along the way in the discussions that were had. She's two years, a little more than two years out from the surgery at this point. Um, and he's, for the most part, leading a fairly un, unrestricted life, uh, other than the fact he has to carry around the batteries and the controller that operate his pump. He, um, his pulmonary hypertension resolved and his nutritional status improved markedly over the first six months or so afterwards. The Advanced Heart Disease Program uh, here at the Brigham and in the Shapiro Cardiovascular Center is really an integrated program. So there's a whole team of people who, who have been on a daily basis interacting with the patient, with the family, meeting some of the external support. And I think what this really provides for patients is uh, multiple opinions from uh, a variety of experts uh, as to the best way to manage their congestive heart failure problem. We really want to make sure that everybody in this process understands whether it's transplant or ventricular cyst device, we really want to make sure that they understand what they're getting into. Uh, not just the patient himself, but also the people who will be uh, around them. The program here at the Brigham has always been involved in uh, research trials, investigational drugs, investigational devices like ventricular cyst devices. We will always continue to be involved in newer generation devices and drugs um, as clearly we have a long way to go to optimally manage congestive heart failure.